Hey, what's up guys on YouTube? This is 3D Bonfire back with an amazing tutorial. And this time I wanted to show you how I recreated this shot. I found it on Samsung. They make this beautiful advertisement for the Galaxy Z Flip 3 bespoke edition okay so i really like the rendering of this beautiful shot and you can see i tried to recreate it so let's just move it over and let's compare it so you can see i also achieved a pretty nice result so i even made it more glossy more more high tech so you can see this one is more natural a bit dull to be honest so i put in these extra reflections here and there you can see this one maybe it feels more realistic but i just wanted to go for this glossy high tech reflective look okay so i added additional highlights additional lights to give me extra reflections and stuff and yeah i mean i like the result and you can see i did different versions of it where i changed the lighting a little bit for example to get different highlights like this one and i just wanted to go with you through the light setup for this one so let's hop into cinema 4d and just before we start, let me quickly tell you about my Patreon 3D Bonfire. This is the place where I have over 100 tutorials. I think now it's about 120 almost. And this is the place where you find a lot of different tutorials also on lighting, X particles, octane. So maybe you want to check it out. You can see I posted a lot of stuff. And by the way, if you want to play with the smartphone model, then you can download it for free on my Patreon. Okay, so you will find it here and I will share the link to this post in the description of the video. All right, and Patreon is also the place where you find an extended version of this tutorial. But for now, let's talk about the light setup, okay? So you can see I fired up Octane already. Let's just activate it again. And this will be the final result. So I just store the render buffer and you can see when I deactivate all my beautiful lights, then this will look pretty boring, okay? Let me tell you one secret already. I don't only use these area lights that I just deactivated. I also use an HDRI just to give me some basic basic lighting in the scene all right so this one when i deactivate the hdri then this would be completely dark okay so i will use this hdri just to give me an ambient light something where i can start with because i want to have some light that will come already from all the directions but then i want to be more specific on top of it so i guess we should start with the key light okay and the key light is coming from the top left here and is hitting the object and gives you these beautiful highlights here and already gives you quite a nice result. So compare it with the original, this already looks better. And maybe we should just go out of the camera for a second and you can see this is my camera. So we more or less look from this angle and this light is coming from the top left corner of the object. All right, so far so good. So let's save this one as a new basis. So this is the version with the HDRI and the key light. But now we want to put in a fill light and the fill light should fill up all of these dark areas on this side, but basically should be not as strong as the key light, okay? So let's position the fill light in the scene. I will brighten up these areas, but still the light direction is more coming from the left. This is because this light is way less powerful than our key light, for example, okay? And already you can see this rendering is getting better and better. So let's save this one as a new default and let's continue. Next, I thought I need some additional fill light here, okay? So I call this one fill additional and let's put it into the scene. And now you can see we get this beautiful highlights on top of the rendering and also this area is getting a little bit more bright. When I go out of the camera, you can see basically this is my additional fill light and this was my original fill light. Okay. And this is the camera angle. So I just had the feeling I need some more bright areas from this angle. And I think it really helps the rendering. And on top, when you work with reflective areas, you sometimes have to be a bit more specific. Okay. Just to have the right angle that you get the reflections that you want. All right, slowly we're getting there. Okay, so you can see lighting is not that complicated. You just need to have some good rules in your mindset and a good technique, okay? So just think about lighting in key light, fill light, rim light, high light, and just don't go crazy all over it, okay? You can do that later when you are just really advanced, all right? So next I would say we want to have a rim light in our scene. So let's put this one in the scene. And now you can see the rim light is coming from the back of the object. And now this is getting even more beautiful, I would say. So now the highlights here are more pronounced and you also get a little light trim around this object. Okay, it's subtle, but I think it still adds something to the scene. Okay, beautiful stuff. Let's save this one as the new default. Okay, and now on top, 
I want to put something, I just called it highlight, okay? And now you think this is looking good, but I tell you when you put this light into it, it even looks better, all right? So let's just place it in the scene. And you can see now we have this beautiful fall off from bright area to dark area on this object. Plus we get some additional highlights on the smartphone. So when I compare it to the old version, this looked pretty dull and a bit boring. I mean, it's not that bad, okay? It looks good, but I have to say, I like this version even more, okay? So now this one is really crisp and looks just like a beautiful high-tech smartphone. All right, and then I add another light, but this one is really up to your liking. So this is not really necessary. Let's just save this version. And now I activate another highlight. And you can see, I just wanted to place something like a reflection in this reflective glass here. So you can add it, but in the end, I decided I don't really need it. All right, and this was already the short breakdown of the Samsung commercial. So you can see lighting is not that difficult. You just to have a good plan and you need to just get this thinking into your mindset that you break it up into key, fill, highlight, rim light, and maybe a background light or a top light. But yes, if you follow this plan, then I guess you should have some beautiful rendering, okay? And in the end, let me just quickly remind you that my Patreon is awesome, okay? So I think in the next month, I will continue maybe to build something like this. So we want to build a scene for the smartphone, but I also do a little poll on my Patreon. So maybe I will also do something completely else, like building a dramatic ice landscape, okay? So anyway, I hope to see you there. Please subscribe my YouTube channel, give me a thumbs up maybe, and ring the bell. Do all the good stuff, okay? Thank you so much for your time. See you next time. Bye, guys.